on this video we are gonna understand a little bit how to use layer styles layer styles is a little bit different than colors how do you manage colors inside the sketch because on a layer style you can save or storage a little bit more information about your design usually inside the community we call these uh, design tokens because it's a kind of like a more information than just the color if you have a specific border if you have a specific shadow like everything that you're gonna reuse on your project you can storage this information in a piece could be a square or like a rounded something you're gonna just storage this information and reuse that on your project okay so let's try to do that together okay guys we are back here and I'm gonna start using the same file that we were using before so basically what we are gonna start learning right now is about layer style to do this like let's uh, the first thing I'm gonna rename this page one to sandbox right so this is where actually we are gonna start like uh, just placing everything that that we have to to leave and uh, for the icons uh, I usually like if you press Control command space it's gonna open the emojis panel right so I like to use like this atomic because remind me about the atomic design concept so I know that this is gonna be my uh, symbols right in some way okay so layer style I'm gonna just open a new page layer styles but layer styles we don't save like symbol is a different concept but I'm gonna uh, just use here because at least it's a blank page, okay? So press A again and just open a desktop HD so we have like this first canvas. Let's try to create uh, any object. Could be a rectangle. Just come here, insert shape rectangle or just press R. So you have like this nice rectangle. I'm gonna remove the border for now, but I wanna change a little bit my shape. Could be like rounded, but I'm gonna save, uh, like I change a little bit the color. And uh, on this case, I'm gonna add a shadow. I'm gonna come here and you can just add a shadow here. So if you see, you have like a little bit of the shadow. You can see here that we have a shadow. So let's change a little bit, right? This shadow, maybe we can just open a little bit here and to this side and you can make a little bit more blurry like this. Right? I don't like when it's like a too strong, you know, I think uh, in order to make something like a really like light and sophisticated, I think uh, you need to just reduce a little bit, you know, you, you, you can have this information, but you can just like reduce. So the alpha also I change it a little bit, here I change the color uh, and I change it like these numbers for the X, the Y and the blur, okay? If you wanna also spread a little bit, I think uh, it's gonna be nice. So another trick is like, uh, instead of changing here using these arrows, you can just place your mouse on over this and you have like this, this one, right? Like, uh, so you can just like uh, use this to play around. Also, you see, like, uh, okay. So I have this information, but it's like a, uh, just a little bit. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna create another object just to have another example. I'm gonna create like a, another rectangle here. So, but on this rectangle, I'm gonna use the border and the border is gonna be like a 10. I'm gonna just, so you can see the border. But let's change the color. Uh, I'm gonna just make like something, not really beautiful, but at least we have, you can grab the concept. That's the most important part. So now uh, we have like uh, these two examples and uh, I'm gonna select here and you see here on the appearance panel here you don't have no you have no layer style connected right so you don't have anything so the first thing that you are gonna do is create one so just make sure that you select this one and you can create but before doing that you see like a because we created rectangles you have like two rectangles so here I'm gonna just change like a rounded shadow okay and for the second one uh, sharpie uh, border okay so we have the two examples 
So I'm going to select this first one and I'm going to create here the first layer style. So you see, Sketch already recommend the same name that I added here on the layer. It's rounded shadow style. I don't like to use the style, so you can just remove the style. And the second one is going to be the same. So you have like a, the Sharpie border, so you can just press create and uh, I'm going to remove this style on by the end. Okay, so now you have like a two shapes and you have like a information related to that. Layer styles, basically, they are gonna be here or on this panel, on the components. So on the components, you see symbols. You have here on the third tab, is gonna be your layer style. We're gonna learn about textiles later, the second tab, but uh, by now you have just to understand that this information is gonna be saved here, okay? So what's the point of using all that? For example, uh, I'm gonna create another shape here. I'm gonna create another rectangle like this. And uh, I wanna do this shape the same one like this one. So instead of changing each one of the settings here, because it's gonna be overwhelming to remember every single time that you have to change something, you just click here and you just link to the, to the rounded shadow, you see? So basically, it's gonna save this information. So really important to understand. This is gonna save the color, the shadow, this kind of style property, okay? It's not gonna save the shape. The shape is a different thing. So maybe you're gonna use symbols to do that. But the most important part is how you're gonna connect this and this. Another question. Of course, you can use the layer style inside each one of the symbols. Let's go on our icons page, remember? so. If you come here and select, let's select this uh, polygon. So the polygon, I can link this polygon to the Sharpie border, you see? Now, uh, it's only because it's really, really small, you cannot see. So, and this one, I'm gonna link to the rounded shape. So you have like the, the shape here. So if you go to the sandbox now, and uh, I'm gonna just, zoom in here a little bit so we added let me create like this one we have like this triangle with the shadow if you see like a you see like a little bit of the shadow you can notice that you have the shadow here it's not like a 100 percent clear clear so you have a, a shadow and the other component if you add here you have another shape here but because I think it's too small, you see, it's not showing the border, right? Because once I reduce, 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 reduce too much, it's gonna remove the border. But at least you know the information is here, even here. So layer style, basically, you're gonna save this information here. Okay, so how we are gonna use this a lot? For example, imagine that you have like this uh, shadow on the forms, like input fields. For example, this one, of course, is not gonna be like this. So let me update this. Probably it's gonna be like a white color, like something like this. It's not, you don't need to be 100% white, but I think something like this is gonna be fine. Now that I update this layer style, you see that is italic, the name, and you have like a, a star here. So if you see like the Sharpie border, it's not italic. This one is italic because I updated that. In order to update everything that I change on a layer style, I need to update. So I'm gonna click here to update, and you see like automatically it's gonna update this. And here I'm gonna just change a little bit the, the border radius, so I kind of like you have the same same solution. You see like uh, now because it's white, it's white, uh, like close to white, the border is too strong, right? So maybe you want to like reduce a little bit more like a, okay so i don't need that that too much i want to like make really 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 like a, a smooth i'm gonna update again you see so it's a little bit you can use this over and over again but if i, I change my mind i can just select this one i can change for another type of design as you like it another trick that is important the same thing about what we did for the symbols page, right? You can use 
folders through storage this kind of information also so let me just give an example here for example I'm gonna create like a this one and I'm gonna create like a with a border and I'm gonna change the the fill let me change it like this kind of green and uh, and the border is gonna be black just to remember and uh, a little bit thicker right? I'm gonna duplicate this one to duplicate you can just press shift and option or you can just basically command D it's gonna duplicate this one you duplicate this and you can change here the color another green like this and uh, I'm gonna duplicate again and have another another green like this right okay so you have three type of greens what I'm gonna do now uh, instead of having like a all these like this I'm gonna rename I'm gonna add like green and uh, light and the second one is gonna be green gonna be medium and uh, green dark okay so we have like these three type of greens what I'm gonna do is just basically select this one and I'm gonna create a new layer style you see green light style I'm gonna remove the style by the end this is gonna be the same create I'm gonna remove here also and the same thing with the last one right okay good so we have now three different greens on the same folder so you see like a f if you go to the components now you're gonna see like a, you have a folder of greens that's pretty much cool because you can organize it everything of course if you need to organize in a different way like our quick you can just drag and, and drop inside so this is gonna be inside the green folder but I don't like so to do this so I'm gonna remove from the green folder so you have everything like this in the future i'm gonna do another video that i'm gonna teach you guys how to use like uh, these new morphemes i think is super trendy nowadays in on the web you have a lot of websites that are using this and this is a good example how you're gonna reuse the same shape you see because if you have the same shape and the same style over and over again you can reuse the this layer style right okay so this is gonna be in the future we are gonna do this together again I think this is the pretty much the basic information about layer style and uh, we are gonna uh, use this kind of concept to design different symbols and use this inside the symbols okay so like we did for the icons here we are gonna do basically the same thing but using for different type of symbols okay guys Three things to remember about layer style. First is how you are gonna plan and storage like uh, information like border, color, shadows, a bunch of things related to your design in one place. The second thing that is really important is like a uh, try to always keep organized using the backslash. You can create different folders. The last one is use the layer styles inside symbols also because if you have like a, a specific component like the forms at the input field probably you're gonna use like the same style so you can just create one layer style for your input fields and this is gonna be reused inside each one of the symbols okay we we'll hope you guys like it, this video and now we are gonna do one workshop that we are gonna mix the concept of the symbols layer styles and we are gonna learn about a little bit more uh, nested symbols in this next workshop okay thank you